Yo, what is goody everybody? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you for coming back for another video. Since you come back, you know what that means. That means that you woke up this morning, so that means that you are winning. So are your stress, are your problems, can I phase you? Can it phase me? Because you and I are already winning, fam. So today we got something a little bit different, guys. We're gonna do a full day eating, but carnivore style. So a lot of you are probably like, yo, what is carnivore? I've been hearing a lot about it lately. It's actually been really, really popular. And a lot of people who do the ketogenic diet kind of go from carnivore, maybe to carb cycling, maybe back to keto. It's something I did last year, but I was like, you know, I was doing it the wrong way. A lot of people got upset with me like, you can't have jalapenos on carnivore. And I'm like, go. Bro, don't panic, Hispanic, chill out, everything's gonna be okay. So I wanted to give it another shot because I get tons of questions every single day on my Instagram, emails, asking me about carnivore. Hey, Logan, how would you do the carnivore? Can I have this on carnivore? Can I have that on carnivore? So I said, you know what? I'll just make a video about it. So today is gonna be a full day of carnivore eating. I'm gonna try to answer as many questions as possible for a lot of you who have questions on the carnivore diet. What are the benefits? What are the pros? What are the cons? So we're gonna dive into that a little bit later in the video, but most importantly, it's time for the first meal of the day, so let's eat. So here is first meal of the day. Obviously, I had to do my intro outside. So if you guys know, typically when I do my intros outside, I have to do them because the girls are still asleep. So currently, the girls are still asleep and I definitely don't wanna wake up Baby Lo because when Baby Lo is not ready to wake up and you wake her up, she is in the worst, fussiest mood. So I gotta be very, very quiet. So that's why I'm keeping my voice down. So I got two sausage links and five eggs, keeping it really simple. That's the thing about carnivore, like there's really no way around it. It's like, it's pretty basic, right? I mean, it's just meat, eggs, and maybe some cheese if people allow it, which I need to look that up if I can have cheese or not. But anyways, so also have the Redmond's Real Salt. If you guys are interested in Redmond's Real Salt, you guys know that it's the very best salt in the world. Absolutely love it. I actually have a discount code below, but I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on my eggs, and this is gonna be the first meal of the day, macros, right there. So we're gonna eat this food and then I'm gonna answer a couple of questions on, I don't know, why you should do carnivore or why you shouldn't, so cheers. Okay guys, so when it comes to the pros and cons of the carnivore diet, let's go over the cons first. And yes, you are gonna hear some like little kids music because Baby Lo is eating breakfast and I think she's done, but she's watching her like kid videos. So I, I gotta make this quick. As always, I know I sound like a broken record. So let's go over the cons. So when I tried the carnivore diet a year ago, one of the biggest cons is that I get called out a lot for doing it wrong. Now, back then, I used to kind of care what people thought uh, when it came to like, am I doing the diet correctly? Am I not doing the diet correctly? And like, so I would forget to like not put any sauces on my foods or like I'd have an avocado or I'd have some jalapenos or put some chiles or something, right? Put some type of sauce on it. And I would always get called out in the comments and it kind of like almost bugged me for a minute. And I was like, you know what? I, screw this, I'm not, that, that's why I, did, I stopped doing, that was one of the reasons why I stopped doing the carnivore diet, because I was getting tired of getting caught out. But fast forward to a year now, you guys obviously know me, I don't care what anybody says, don't let anybody ever tell you you're doing something wrong, tell them no, I'm not doing it your way, I'm doing it my way. So um, there's, there's all types of terms now, there's called like, there's even like a keto carnivore term where it's called like, Car ketovore, ketovore or something like that? I don't know what it's called, but if you know, comment down below. Um, and so essentially, I didn't like that. I didn't like being called out saying, oh, you're doing the carnivore diet wrong because and believe it or not, when the carnivore diet really, really got popular, it almost was turning into like a type, a cult, right? Again, I, I'm not anymore. I don't think any of the carnivore people are like that anymore. But back then it was like, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that. And, and, and it was almost turning like the vegan community. And you guys know the vegan community. Like they're, the, they're, they're like one of the worst communities out there when it comes to like shaming, bad mouthing, and just like putting you down. Like it's, like it's weird. Like if I was a vegan, I wouldn't want to be associated with that community because it's 
seems like it's all negativity. It's all built around drama, negativity. Like I want to be, I want to be part of a community that's happy, that's positive, and that inspires people and like builds people up, right? Not like builds them down. So, anyways, enough about that. We're getting off topic. So that was one reason why I stopped the carnivore diet. Number two. I am a big fan of greens. Like I do thoroughly enjoy broccoli. I love spinach. I love cauliflower rice. I love avocados. I even love some fruits and berries, um, you know, occasionally every once in a while. So, and you guys obviously know I love my beer as well. So that was another reason why I stopped. So the food is, you know, somewhat very, very limited because it's pretty basic guys. You have to understand it's a carnivore diet. Carnivore, you only eat meats. <laughs> Meats, 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 some eggs, some fish, and that's pretty much it. You almost done, mamas? Okay, so back to my point. Like, I'm a big fan of greens. I'm a big fan of vegetables, and I didn't, like, want to have to give that up. Like, obviously, you guys know I'm from Texas, so we have a restaurant called Jason's Deli. I probably eat at Jason's Deli minimum once a week, and so when I tried the carnivore diet for a month, like, it was very hard to not go to Jason's Deli. Like, I was like, I want to go to Jason's Deli so bad, so bad. And uh, you know, obviously I couldn't do that when I was on the uh, carnivore diet. So that was another reason why I stopped. For the most part are the cons for me. Limited in food, limited in the things that I want and uh, like being called out. But again, the whole call out thing has stopped. So that's really only the big reason. So if you guys are a big fan of vegetables, you love avocados, you love your very limited fruits, you love your sauces, maybe you love your ketchup. You guys know I love my ketchup. And also keto coffee as well. I forgot about that, keto coffee. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of keto coffee and you can't technically have keto coffee because you're eating heavy whipping cream, you're putting like Splenda in your coffee, you're putting like, oh, well, let's see, is there mama? All right, here, come this way. You know, any sweeteners, any of that stuff, you know, because that's technically not carnivore. So that was another big reason why I stopped the carnivore diet because one, I just love keto coffee too much and I could not give that up. So those are probably the biggest cons when it comes from me. So if you're thinking about doing the carnivore diet and you love all those things, you love keto coffee, you love your vegetables, you love your jalapenos, you love your sauces, then probably carnivore won't be for you if you technically want to do the carnivore a hundred percent but if you want to do your style of the carnivore please by all means do your style don't let anybody tell you i'm doing it wrong and please don't let me talk you out i'm just telling you from my experience when i first started the carnivore diet last year those were the things that kind of turned me away from it I was like, okay you know what it's probably not for me nothing bad about it i actually do like the carnivore diet and i've actually incorporated my kind of style keto slash carnivore and put it together i'll talk about that a little bit later but those are the cons when it comes to the carnivore diet all right guys so on for meal number two we got two juicy steaks the reason why I'm doing it on the couch is because she's not going to let me eat at the table and she's not going to let me talk on the camera in the kitchen or she's going to start crying. So, can't record a clip when you got a baby crying in the background, but it's all good. Hey guys, welcome to fatherhood. Can I get an amen for all the dads down there in the comments below? So, like I said, I got to make this quick. Uh, two juicy steaks. These are 14 ounces. So, total, 14 ounces total of steak and like i said guys the carnivore diet is simple it's so easy like you don't there's not like any thinking you know when people do the ketogenic diet or do any other diet there's so many options right because you have this side you have that side you can do this you can do that with the carnivore diet it's pretty just cut and dry it's pretty simple just find your favorite meat so, you know put some salt put some pepper on there and throw that thing on the grill throw that thing on the stove or the oven whatever you use to uh to make your meats and there you go so unfortunately i don't have a grill yet i know i know i'm gonna get killed in the comments logan you're from texas how the heck do you not have a grill i know i failed you guys i failed you guys and you can see baby Lo singing the songs um so i'm gonna try to do my best to eat this food before baby Lo grabs the camera and uh meal number two let's eat 
finally, 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 guys, we are here in the gym, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, so this week has been absolutely insane for me. I have not been in this gym since Monday, and it is Friday right now, so I missed uh, shoulder day, I missed leg day, I missed back day. And today is technically deadlifts, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do deadlifts. I'm thinking I'm gonna do some shoulders and back, so enough talking. Finally, we can get into the workout and put that damn steak to work. Let's do it. So I know you guys appreciate this shirt. I know you guys appreciate this shirt. So guys, I came out with this shirt like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, and the shirt's completely sold out. Everyone was like loving it. So I was like, all right, season three, just uh, I think it just started on July 4th. And so yes, these shirts are selling like hotcakes. I'm telling you guys, if you want a Keto Genetic Thing shirt, if you like Stranger Things or if you like Keto, well then obviously the shirt is perfect for you. Uh, head to my website, ketogoody.com. Link in the description below. Look at this. Look at this shirt. If you put this shirt on, I guarantee you'll look about as buff as me. Okay, I'm not that buff. I just got a pump, but you get what I'm saying. Stranger Things, Keto. Get the shirt, ketogoody.com. back from the workout and man I feel good man I feel nice my, my arms feel pumped comment down below if you like whenever you've been away from the gym for like a long time whether that be a week two weeks maybe even a month and then you get back into the gym and you just like dang man I miss it I know it was only four days but still like four days for me that's a, that's a long time uh, to be away from the gym so it feels good to be back to the gym and uh, so thinking about how much I miss the gym let's talk about the pros of being on the carnivore diet so in my opinion the pros of being carnivore are going carnivore and one pro which is kind of what I talked about earlier is that it's so simple it is so user-friendly you almost don't have to think about anything like really the carnivore diet if you just google what can I eat on the carnivore diet? And then boom, you get like a short list and there you go. Like there's really no way to screw it up unless you're like me and you're eating avocados, putting jalapenos and putting like mustard or mayonnaise or ranch dressing on your food because I'm crazy like that. Then yeah, you can mess it up. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty simple and I really do like it. Another thing, guys, you know I'm really big into bodybuilding. Obviously, you just saw my type of workouts. I train bodybuilding style and uh, I love the amount of protein. Like I am a big fan of high protein. Protein. Unfortunately, when you do true keto, protein is not that high, guys. It's only like 20% of your total calories. So that's actually kind of low. On the carnivore diet, it's sometimes almost like 50-50 or 60-40. So I really do dig the high protein. I believe the carnivore diet can really help in building muscle. Another thing when it comes to building muscle, I really think the carnivore diet can help you lose body fat as well. You got to understand, it is a zero carb diet, like a zero carb diet. So I think you'll be in ketosis depending on where your fat's coming from, but it is a good way to get just dialed in. Like if you're gonna go somewhere for vacation, I would definitely recommend doing the carnivore diet, whether you got four, two, three weeks to go uh, left to hit that vacation, hit that trip, that wedding, whatever date you have set, I believe you wanna just trim down as much as you can. I believe the carnivore diet will definitely help that. So high protein, 
It's very, very simple. I think it's really good for cutting. Uh, you really get dialed in. Obviously, I don't know if you guys, you probably can't see anymore, but in the gym, my veins were popping. So again, in my opinion, I really think it's good for uh, burning body fat and building muscle. If you can stick to it consistently, obviously you're not gonna do it for a month and build all this muscle and lose all this body fat. You gotta stick with it for the long term, guys. Maybe, you know, three, six, maybe even a year and you will really see results. So those are the pros when it comes to the carnivore diet. You should definitely check it out and let me know what you guys think. If you tried it, please let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. If you haven't tried it, please let me know what your questions are. I am gonna rewatch this video and try to answer as many questions as possible, but let me know your thoughts on the carnivore diet. Did it work for you? What were the pros for you? What were the cons for you? I think we started a really good conversation. Like I said, I really love my community, my keto fam, my positive people family, my people who just come to watch the family vlogs. Like I absolutely love you guys. So I really love that we can all just like keep it positive and share our thoughts and our experiences. All right, boom. All right, so here we go, guys. This is gonna be the final meal of the day. This is the third meal of the day. So right here, what we got is some pork loin chops with about, I don't know, I'd say that's about an ounce, maybe two ounces of shrimp right there. That was pretty much cooked in butter. And this is it. Wait, I need my knife. Come on, Logan, get it together. Got my knife. All right, so here you go. This is gonna be the third meal of the day. Man, look at this straight gains and so i already plugged this into my macro so macros boom right there and so i was looking at like how it broke down i was like dang that's a lot of protein for the day and like i know a lot of you be like yo that's way too much protein guys don't panic hispanic everything's gonna be okay all right so just because it was this high is not how it would be every single day you know i'm sure days fluctuate when you do the carnivore diet some days you have really really high protein days like today and sometimes not so high so again um, not really worried about it. The food was delicious. That's one thing about the carnivore diet. I mean, who doesn't love meat? I'm a meat eater. I've been a meat eater since I was a child. I was born on meat. I was raised on meat. So if you're a person like me who loves meat, who grew up on meat, and you're from Texas, I mean, I think the carnivore diet may be perfect for you. So like I said, guys, this is the last meal of the day. I'm gonna scarf this down and then I'm gonna have to close out my thoughts on the carnivore diet. Should you do it? All right, guys, so I'm going to close out this video in Lolo's house. So uh, this is going to be fun because she's not going to like it. All right, well, she will like it, but she'll probably make a lot of noise. And this uh, house is really small, as you can see. Say hi, mamas. <laughs> Say hi. Don't be shy. Look at your baby shark stickers. Oh, my gosh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Mama. Yeah, mama shark and daddy shark, baby shark. Daddy. Yeah, daddy shark. She's just been on like a shark fix lately, guys. What? Every time she sees sharks, what? real sharks. What? what? No, I don't want nothing. She's eating ice right now. I don't want one. I don't want one. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for the full day of carnivore eating. If you did like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up, guys. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And let me know what you think about the carnivore diet. Is it something for you? Is it something that you think you can make? your lifestyle. That's also one thing I want to talk about. I, I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me. You want more? So what I wanted to talk to you guys about is remember I talked earlier about making it a lifestyle. The way I do keto now is like, I don't eat enough greens, enough vegetables to people say, oh, you know, you're not doing true keto. You need to do this and you do that. And but I mean a lot of meat, a lot of protein, and very little greens. And so people are like, oh, that's almost like carnivore, but you're eating those greens. So I'm somewhere in the middle, right? And so I just said, you know what? I'm not doing anything. I'm doing Goody Beats diet, okay? And so my diet's 95% keto, 5% lifestyle. That 5% lifestyle is, you know, maybe going out on the weekends and having a beer. You know what? If it's my wife's birthday, if it's my birthday, I'm gonna eat a dessert. I don't care. I don't feel guilty. I don't care what people think. I'm not gonna let anybody try to put me in a box and what I mean by that is you can't put me in a carnivore box keto box 
you know, low carb, payload, whatever, you cannot put me in the box because I'm not going to allow you to put me in the box and don't allow anybody else to put you in that box. Just say, hey, I'm doing what works for me. I made it a lifestyle. And so, yeah, take it as that. Yes, even though I did do a carnivore diet today, like a true carnivore diet, is because I wanted to show you guys that is how a typical carnivore diet would look for me. But again, you can always adjust things, make it your own. You go watch my keto videos, watch this video, see what you like, see what you didn't like, and make it your own. That's the best way to make anything sustainable and make it a lifestyle. So, as always, guys, you know I absolutely love you. We'll see you on the next hi, video. Hi, what, Mama? Say hi. <laughs> She's getting so big, guys. She's getting so big. So for all of you who've been watching me for like over the years, Baby Low is getting so big. Someone, please, please, please show me how to slow down time. She is growing too fast. My baby's getting too big. You're getting too big. As always, guys, we absolutely love you. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Hey, say peace. Peace. <laughs> Tell them like this. You got to go like this. Peace. Peace. Peace.